Hi, my name is Kim and I'm a counselor. So I'm passionate about working with women because I myself, when I was a teenager and younger, I really struggled with self-esteem related issues, um, which led me into unhealthy relationships and it became a pattern. Uh, at that point, it was all I knew rather than healthy and healthy was almost boring <laughs> when I got back to that. So just teaching women like assertiveness skills, um, how to manage self-esteem, to have boundaries and things of that nature. Because for me personally, I knew what it was like to not have those things and the types of relationships or mindsets you can get yourself into is <laughs> not good. It is very difficult, I think, to admit to, you know, enduring abuse or staying longer than you should have in an unhealthy relationship. Um, just because of that aspect of blaming the self for the treatment, like, well, maybe if I didn't act this way, they wouldn't have treated me, treated me badly. However, the way I view it now with my experience is that it's people project a lot. So I find a lot of abusers are insecure or they have their own trauma and they like to project that onto their partner. I'm pretty open-minded as a therapist and as a person to begin with. So being non-judgmental, I find just comes naturally for me. Um, but as a therapist, I just, I listen, actively listen, um, hear where the client's coming from. I don't prematurely focus on something until I have the whole story. I don't push anyone to do something they're not ready to do. I meet them where they're at, see what they're open to, to doing or working on with me and I just go from there. If they aren't ready to be abstinent, there's other approaches. There's harm reduction and then hopefully the end goal would be abstinence, but you can't push someone to change. They have to want to do it. I think it's really important as a counselor to have empathy and compassion because a lot of times addiction isn't, in my opinion, the main issue. It's kind of an underlying issue to deal with trauma or mental health or abuse, often stemming from, from childhood or something learned in childhood. Not always, but when you can kind of strip away the addiction part and look at what's going on underneath, like that's typically what I end up addressing anyway. Not sitting in sessions talking about drugs and alcohol or talking about relationship with parents, uh, mental health, lack of coping skills, things like that. So if people were able to see kind of like the bigger picture there, I think that'd be helpful.